Hi everybody, this is Blue Phoenix, aka Urgan Fresh. In this tutorial, I'll be talking about equal temperament versus a Pythagorean temperament. It's basically a different way of creating scales. And uh, it's actually kind of cool. I'm just, I read a book about it and I'm just kind of looking at it right now and, and figuring out what it's all about. Um, basically, uh, with what's called an equal temperament scale, your notes are logarithmically scaled throughout the uh, the twelve note octave, and uh, so the ratio between each note is the same, uh, and it's an irrational number. It's just some big thing that trails off into huge decimals. Uh, so if you want a example of that, I've got this program called Scala. I'm going to tell you how to install that here momentarily, but uh, if I look for the um, equal temperament scale. I might have to do a uh, new equal temperament scale. Just hit apply or OK. If we then show you the uh, the ratio is um, these nasty frequencies here. The only one that's a integer is A. It's 440. So uh, we're actually going to find some scales here that all their frequencies are even numbers and they're divisible by one another which is kinda cool so equal temperament is the default that your sense are going to use and uh, I'm going to show you how to get something much cooler <laughs> so uh, first you have to get Scala uh, it's a program that will let you kinda browse through different scales and create these uh, micro tuning files uh, you can search for uh, Scala on Google do like scale a scale editor or something, or you can go to this <laughs> Huygens Fokker. <laughs> Does this meet the parents? I, I don't know. If you go to download here, this big giant blue link over here, uh, grab the latest version of Scala. If you're on Windows, you also have to get this GTK Plus uh, runtime. Blah blah blah. Uh, just follow the directions on here. You've also got, uh, at the end here, there's a big archive of scales that you need to download as well. Uh, this has like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. So uh, pause the video and install Scala, and then come on back. Okay, you're back. Great. That was fast. So uh, what we're going to do is look at the Pythagorean uh, scale instead. So if you go into Scala and you hit Open, and uh, you, hopefully you created your SCL file that has all the scales in it. And uh, there are uh, a ridiculous, ridiculous number of scales. But we're going to look at the Pythagorean scale. Specifically this Pith uh, 7A uh, scale. Um, it's actually created with what's called a circle of fifths. And uh, it's actually, you'll notice that these uh, intervals here are... Uh, they're uh, created by a division of two integers that are fairly small. I mean, two, the biggest one here is 459 or 256 or whatever. Um, I've currently got uh, A is set to, looks like 441. Um, so this is kind of the Pythagorean scale, circle of fifth stuff. You can look that up on your own. Uh, I'm not going to go into a technical discussion about that. But um, anyway... A of 440 hertz is uh, is kind of your your default. Uh, I've been reading about this magic number, 432. It's divisible by a whole lot of different numbers. It ends up giving you uh, scales that are integer hertz, which is kind of cool. Uh, Scala is is really hard to use. I'll put it that way. <laughs> so uh, what you got to do here is kind of finagle it to get to that 432 hertz. So uh, let me do that again. Go to the edit menu and go to preferences. Frequency for 1-1, one, one, you're going to set that to 432. And I believe you go down to this general tab. Nope, that's not it. Uh, MIDI. <laughs> yes, MIDI. So reference frequency, you want 432. If I type the right numbers. And you want that to be for A4. So click this up. 69, dude. That's the one. Okay. 432 hertz for A. Hit apply. And uh, 
then go to the synth tab. So uh, most of your synths are going to use uh, the .tun file. Uh, that's 112. I, I don't know what happened to 4 through 100, but I guess they weren't important. So you hit 112 here, and you hit apply again, and do OK. So I'm actually going to go here to file and do uh, export synth tuning. And I'm just going to plop it on my desktop here. I've already got it out here. It's called pith a 432tune I'm just going to overwrite that. Okay. Now, uh, if you use contact, contact also supports microtuning. I don't know if you knew that, <laughs> but you do now. Contact was uh, 129. Of course, 129. Native Instruments Contact 2. There's other formats on here. Uh, looks like Absinthe and uh, Reactor. Anyway. Contact 2. Apply. Okay. And I have to export it again. It's really silly. But uh, I'm going to go to a .txt file this time for that one. Boom. Okay. So... If I go to my desktop here uh, and pull this up, you'll notice in this text file. Oh, don't look at my personal files. No. Okay. So there it is. Da -da 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 -da. It's a ginormous file. Yada, yada, yada. You can actually look at uh, the .tun file. And uh, it's got a whole bunch of text in here as well. So, there you go. Interesting stuff. Okay, so now, how do we actually use these .tun files? Uh, what we're going to do is, uh, I've got my Ableton open already. And, uh, it depends on what synths you use. Uh, fortunately, I like to use the Yuhi synths. So, Diva is a Yuhi synth. And I've actually already set this up for it, but on Diva, you've got a micro-tuning uh, field here. And you have to take your, uh, you got to take this .tun file, and you got to copy it, and it's got to go in your uh, your VST file. It's kind of annoying, but uh, I've got my VST stored out here. I go to diva.data, and there's a tune files, paste it in there. Boom, it's ready to go. I had to do that again for D uh, zebra two, paste it in there. It'd be nice if you could point it to wherever the heck you want, but you can't. So there you go. Um, for alchemy, I also it also works for alchemy. Yes, it's pretty cool stuff. Alchemy, uh, libraries, tuning. I just pop it in here into basic. Boom, there it is. I'll show you how to load that into alchemy. So uh, anyway, I just went through. What I did was uh, I took a track I had here and duplicated it some of the instruments over here and I'm loading the tuning file for each one make sure you click that micro tuning button or it won't actually do anything uh, contact is a little trickier so uh, what you do is you load up your instrument and it looks like this you hit the little wrench flips it over you go to the script editor and you can click on one of these empty ones here and uh, you can load you can either load this or you just go to edit and you remember I opened that uh, earlier I can find it once again don't look at my personal files yes I have some pictures of my roof let's see here uh, this is the one so if you do select all copy go in here paste boop apply and you can actually go and save that for later, which I've done. I call it Pith A432. Now, this is bad because it's going to be in here twice. So I want to go ahead and, uh, because I've got it over here already, I'm going to uh, come over here and uh, I think I can do empty. Boom. Okay. So, uh, yeah. That's how you do it in contact. Once you save that preset, <coughs> it'll show up in your user folder. And then you can go and grab it later. Pretty awesome. 
Uh, I had another piano here. I did that too. Uh, Zebra 2, it's actually down here in the global tab. You go uh, voice micro tuning, boom. Make sure you turn it to on or it won't actually do anything. Uh, another instance of Zebra done there. Uh, another instance of Zebra done there. And in Alchemy, uh, if it won't crash, that would be nice if it didn't crash. Not crashing is what I live for, but here it goes. Come on. Why have I got the little beach ball? Hey, it didn't crash. Thank you, Ableton. Okay, on the advanced tab, there is a tuning. So if you dropped it in that, uh, that folder uh, in your alchemy configuration earlier, it should show up in this list. It's a giant list, and you just go... And it might, that, that one might actually be on there. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. That's what Scala is for. All right, so you've got Alchemy done. And here are the results. So uh, for this track, you got your drums and FX up here. This was from uh, Radiant Joy, uh, the track from uh, Source of Hope. So here's an example of what it will sound like. This is equal temperament. This is the default. This is what you normally get. A is 440 hertz. Here we go. Ooh. All right, so that was the song as is. tearing CPU's freaking out here perhaps doesn't play well with Ableton sometimes so anyway uh, as you'll see it sounded kind of more uh, somber that might be simply because we went from 440 Hertz down to 432 and uh, the intervals between the notes are different so I'll just go in here and turn this off Yeah, so when you A B it, it's kind of not fair because it sounds uh, it sounds out of key as you're A Bing it. But but I think if you listen to the uh, Pythagorean version of it for a while and then go back to equal temperament, the equal temperament sounds funny. So I don't know. <laughs> But anyway, I think it's a very interesting topic. I think there's a lot of potential for experimentation with it. If you look at Scala, it has, uh, I mean, I mean, golly, what? What? Yeah. Uh, so anyway, well worth a try. Uh, check it out on your own experiment. Let me know if you find a cool scale here that works for you. Uh, this track wasn't a really awesome example because uh, it's in G sharp apparently a lot of magic numbers come up with uh, a minor or uh, or even G minor but I'm kind of in the middle of those two uh, there's also another scale called uh, Ptolemy the Ptolemy one but it's only got seven notes in it um, let me just show that to you real fast it's kind of interesting Ptolemy scale and uh, the cool thing about these ratios is these are really tiny numbers on the ratios, like 9 to 8, 5, 4, da, 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 da. And the frequencies are all integers. So uh, it's kind of nice. It's actually kind of pleasing to the ear. However, there's only seven notes here, and it's tuned to... Uh, this, this shows up a little wrong, but this is actually tuned to A right now. And uh, I, I'm not sure how to get to G-sharp. I don't think you can do G-sharp with the Ptolemy scale and get all these magic integers. So, uh, so I'm kind of screwed on that one, at least for this track. But uh, if I write a sh uh, another track in A or I believe G or B come up kind of nice too, is, is what I hear. Uh, I'm going to have to try out Ptolemy and see how that works. But, but anyway, uh, just give it a try. Let me know how that works for you. 
and uh, stay tuned for the next tutorial. I'm probably going to work on a, uh, a chill out tune tutorial. So uh, that'll be like a, another series like I did with uh, Troubled Galaxy creating Freeform earlier. This will be a chill out step by step tune tutorial. So I uh, hope you found that interesting. I sure did. Uh, I'm probably going to play around with it some more and see uh, see what that does. So stay tuned. I hope to see you next time.